Hey guys, so today we're gonna be making chocolate covered strawberries. Yay! Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is take a plate and line it with parchment paper or wax paper. It just makes cleanup a lot easier. And you also want to wash and dry your strawberries completely because if they're not dry, the chocolate won't stick. So dry them. And um, for today, we're going to be using semi-sweet chocolate chips, but you can also use dark chocolate or milk chocolate, whatever you please. And we'll also be needing some white chocolate chips. And for decoration, we're going to use heart sprinkles and some pretty red sprinkles, but really you can just use whatever sprinkles you want. Um, next, we're going to be adding our vegetable oil to the semi-sweet chocolate chips or whatever chips you're using. So just add in your oil and stir it around and make sure your chocolate chips are well coated. So we're going to be melting it in the microwave for 30 seconds. We're actually doing 30 second intervals. So if first time around your chocolate chips aren't melted, it may look something like this, kind of gross and chunky. It's okay. Just put it in for another 30 seconds and it should be nice and smooth and ready for dipping. To dip your strawberries, you just grab it by the stem, stick it in your chocolate, and do like a little twisty motion around. And make sure that you cover about two thirds of the strawberry. You don't want to cover the whole entire thing because you want like a little bit of the red showing. So that's pretty much it. You just dip it in, do a little twisty thing, let the excess chocolate drip off. And yep, easy peasy. Okay, so when your strawberries are still wet, this is the perfect time to decorate them because this is when the decorations are going to stick. Um, this part is pretty self-explanatory. You just take your strawberry and dip it in the sprinkles. And you just dab it around until it's uh, covered to your liking. And that is pretty much it. And just a quick tip, if you guys want, you can totally dip it in like Oreo cookie crumbs, graham cracker crumbs, crushed peanuts, almonds, pecans, walnuts, like any of those, and they will taste absolutely delicious. I would do it if I had the ingredients, but I don't, so that's why I couldn't film it. But sprinkles will have to do for now. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is take your strawberries and refrigerate them for 15 minutes just to allow the chocolate to harden. And while that's happening, you can go ahead and start on your white chocolate drizzle. It's basically the same melting process as the one you did before. So while uh, your chocolate is melting in the microwave, you can start on your makeshift piping bag. Oh yeah, it's basically a Ziploc bag and you just put it around a cup just to hold it. Um, and then you take your melted white chocolate and fill it up. Okay, so close up your Ziploc bag and push all the white chocolate to one side. And you don't want to push all of it to the end because when you cut the hole it's gonna spray all over your face and you don't want that obviously so oh snip 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 so just leave a really small space and then cut a really tiny hole of course the smaller the hole the finer the line the thicker I'm sorry the bigger the hole the thicker the line it's gonna come out okay but it's really up to you I just prefer um, the finer lines because it looks more elegant so to drizzle the chocolate you um, basically want to twist the piping bag and apply even pressure and go from left to right left to right up and down up and down left to right left to right up and down up and down so yeah that's basically it you just do it for all of them and it's actually really easy and it looks fantastic Oh, it looks so yummy. Okay, 
Okay, so once you have finished drizzling on the white chocolate, don't forget to put it back in the fridge for another 10 minutes just to let everything harden up. And once you are done, it should look something like this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Looks delicious. So if you're planning on giving this as a gift, you can put them in these mini cupcake liners and they're gonna look super cute. Just put it in a box tied up with a nice ribbon and you are good to go. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for upcoming ones on Share and Be Making Stuff. Bye!